You know, because I must say, I don't, nobody can ever say that I ever said he was going to beat anybody. But lots of them said they were going to beat him, that's for sure. So, you know, in fairness to him, let's face it, he's up there with all the, all the greats. I'm going to give him a compliment, you know, because as I say, you know, he's like your child and, you know, you, you probably should be the first one to give him a compliment, but you're the last one is that he's the greatest trotter I've ever seen. You know, and I'm from the Maritimes, so, I mean, as a, when I was Brendan's age and younger, you know, uh, the harness horse, I can remember Neville Pride, Mac Lobel, Donato Hanover recently, Dewey Cheatham and how, you know, but, uh, you know, again, in fairness to him, he, he, he's like the son you got to give credit to. That's what I think of him. I'd be glad to take any questions that you have. Greg, you said yep. that you really enjoyed, obviously, winning the Hamiltonian. But given the fact that your horse was so highly touted in the weeks leading up to this day, when he hits the wire today, six lengths in front, were you experiencing more joy or more relief? Joy, because you know what it was? Getting back to what I said earlier about it's like having the kid there, you're, you know, you're not, you're not complimenting him or you're not showing him enough confidence. I started to say to myself, I was thinking all that could happen, the trip, the this, the that, and the other. You know what? said to myself, it's Muscle Hill, what are you thinking? He is great, he will overcome it. And then, you know, to see Holiday Road today, and Brian came in and said he was hitting the, the, the sulky, I gotta get him a bigger sulky. So, you know, he, he's already starting to show greatness. He's another one, like I, I wouldn't compare him before, but, but I'm starting to think now, and, and it's a nice feeling, but again, great job by Brian. Brian has a great line, by the way, and that's what I, I like about what he does. He says he inspires horses, and that's a good way of putting it. He, he actually, his mother says it, but, you know, it's a great way of putting it. He's done a great job. He's accented the horse. You saw him cross the finish line today with really, you know, no motion at all. Like, today, let's face it, you know, again, I, I, as I say, he's the kid, you know, we got to give him compliments. He probably could have gone 49 today with a look, so that's quite a trotter to be able to do that talked about winning the Hamiltonian and separately about winning the Hamilton. What's it, so, what's it like to have a horse like Muscle Hill? You, you know what, it, it, it goes down to Harrisburg. Um, Greg uh, saw me in the bar the night before and he said, I want to buy a horse with you. And I said, okay, we'll go look at him tomorrow. And we went and we looked at him and, and we purchased Muscle Hill. And uh, since we purchased him, it's been a dream come true. Uh, before the Hamiltonian, did you have any doubts about him winning? I never had any doubts about him winning. I knew he was the best horse. I, I, I think he's one of the greatest trotters in the, in the game. You, you just get nervous because it's still a horse race, and, and until the horse race is over, uh, you, you, you just get, like, you know, just you want the horse race to be over. And it just it helped with the Peter Horton coming out in the third race and winning the Peter Horton with Holiday Road. But, you know, it's, it was a great experience. Um... Later in his career, do you have any plans on races for yet? For um, future races? We have some wow. plans. We have some plans. We're probably going to go to Lexington with them or DuCoin, but uh, it's, we got some some good opportunities. We're getting an interview over here. All right. We got the other Same to me. You guys here. later, yeah. too? We got Jerry Silver, too. Our other right, right there. Oh, hi there. How are you? Good, good. So how's it feel to have a Hellas win? I am. Oh, well, this is the fourth Hamiltonian. Yeah, what? Fourth Hamiltonian. Fourth this Hamiltonian. was the best one. Yeah. What What makes it the best one? Uh, 150 and one by yeah. six. Yeah, I love it. Six or seven or eight. Right, whatever it was. Yeah. Whatever it was. What the, uh, on your like? Did you have any doubts about him winning? Just the first turn. If he, he did the first turn and he did in 27 or more, I know he'd win. So what's it like to have a horse like him? Amazing, it's a once in a lifetime because I don't think anybody will ever beat that horse. Yeah. He's, he is, he is, he's I'm special. You, he's one of the best horses ever. Best I just had Swedish guys game. come over to me, Tacta came yeah. over to me. One of the best trials in the game. And, 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 ever. Yeah, okay. the Swedish ever. guys came to the barn when I was there. Second? The Swedish guys came yeah. to the. Uh, they're, they're, hey, John. Hey, congratulations. Thank, congratulations. Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Shake the Irish, make us the Italian. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Hey, Muscle Tom. Thank you. Thanks Terrific. for your time and uh, good luck in the future. Thank so, Mrs. Bolt, what's it like to have a horse like Muscle Hill? I have to tell you, it is the thrill of my life. Uh, this is something you dream all your life, and to have a horse that's consistently 
running and he's just one of a kind. Uh, I just absolutely love him. So I'm on cloud nine right about now. After you won the Peter Houghton, or yeah, the Peter Houghton, and then they named him favorite for the Hamiltonian coming up. Did uh, did you like think that that was right for him to be the favorite? Well, you know, they put a lot of pressure on you as uh, you know next year, this year, the, and we have to take one day at a time because it's a horse race. But uh, you know, hopefully it's in the stars and uh, we'll do very well. Um. Right. Okay. Has he ever had a bad race? Who? Muscle Hill. One, his second race. Uh, he didn't win his second race, but other and it wasn't a bad race. Yeah, first race. Yeah, it wasn't a bad race, but uh, you know he looks consistently and and uh, he just looks like he's going to go on forever. So he basically never has a bad day. I don't think so. He looked so calm before the uh, the race. He just looked absolutely wonderful. Did you have any doubts for the Hamiltonian never. that like oh he might not win you know? Never. That doubts is not in my vocabulary. Never, ever, ever. What was it like to win? It is the thrill of my life. Absolutely thrill of my life. Uh, so, um, hmm. So really, you never had any doubts and you just find him a great horse, right? I find him an exceptional horse. Never, never in my life did I have a doubt on that horse. Do you have any future plans already? Well, we're not sure. We take one day at a time, and hopefully, uh, you know, um, everything will plan out, and uh, we just hope for the future. Okay, well, thanks for your time, and good luck in the future. Well, I, I feel very honored that you would interview me. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. I'm Brendan, and I'm with the owner, uh, part owner of Muscle Hill. Uh, Louis Pontone. Louis Pontone. Louis Pontone. And I'm going to ask him a couple questions. What's it like to have a horse like Muscle Hill? God, I never thought we were going to win this Hamiltonian. But we've done it. We've done it. Is that your phone? Is that your phone? I hear, I hear something. Yeah. So, how, like, did you ever have any doubts when he was in the Hamiltonian? Say that again. Do you have any doubts going into the Hamilton? Do you have any doubts going into the Hamiltonian? Well, I didn't have doubts, uh, any doubt like that, but I was a worried about, you know, it's a race, anything can happen in a race, but when he took the lead, I was a little nervous, but when he kept on going, I said, we got this race in the bank. When he won, what was that like? Huh? When he won, what was that like? What? When he won, what was that like? Oh, was like heaven, man. Like going to heaven. Like going to heaven. Okay? Do you have any plans for him? Do you have any plans for him in the future? Well, we have to talk to our uh, partners and talk to Greg and we'll find out what we're going to do. Okay. Thank you.